So Rory's on his press run right now, and he stopped by Fig Munity World, and he had to get some things off his chest about Joe Budden because I guess Joe Budden made some recent comments which paint Rory in a bad light. So we're going to react to some of that right here. And before we get to make sure you're not subscribed already, like the video, let's get it. Because you ignored Ooh. what Mo said, and then you went after me. Mm. And then after that, made up some lies about a negotiation with your son, you piece of shit. Even after my, my fake hurt rant for like 30 seconds, I, I'm, on, I'm in the Reddit streets, so I see clips that people put up. I just seen dude make up some whole shit about me going to see his son being born as a negotiation tactic when the timeline doesn't even add up and there was no negotiation within two years of that time. Yeah, and, then even, and then even bringing up that I brought that up in a negotiation. Like, that's the type of shit where I said I was going to stop talking about it, but he kept talking, and he could have kept talking. But when you, like, lie about number shit, lie about conversation, don't lie about... Personal shit. Yeah, like, that I brought up that you're fucking... I brought your son up in a negotiation. I went to your son. Like, it's like shit that I can't believe that even his own fans would believe some absolute bullshit like that and even know the timeline. That, that doesn't even add up. It's like that type of shit is what hurts me. And I wasn't even planning on going this rant and it could be a little juice in here, but. <laughs> I'm glad it is like kind of crazy. Like if you like, think about Joe Budden and Rory Amal. The always thing I always think about is that Joe Budden probably lied about anything going on in the situation more than Rory and Maul have lied or embellished things. Because I feel like between Joe, Rory, and Maul, Joe is the one that can, you know, articulate himself or himself to paint the narrative that he wants to paint. He, he's great. That's why he's number one. That's why he's the guy who he is, because he's able to lead people down narratives that he wants to them to lead down. And I don't think Rory and Ma have that talent. So when I say that, I mean, I don't think they can really lie as well and paint stories as well to manipulate the audience to be where they want them to be. I think Joe can move you where he wants to move you like a chessboard if he really wanted. I think he can do that. So when it comes to Rory and Ma, and what goes on and what's happened, nine times out of ten, I'm going to assume that Rory and Maul are telling the truth. Like I said, over the content game, you're going to come back around and listen to Joe Budden because he's more talented than them. But as far as their situation, I think Joe probably lies more than they lie. I'm not going to lie to you. To answer the actual question. Oh, my bad. But to, 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 to the point I'm making, like, for him to make up a story of like, oh, you came to see my son, and then when we negotiated or renegotiated, you used that as a tactic you think Rory's thinking that far ahead? Like, I'm going to watch your son be born. And then in three, four, five years, when we get a deal. Because like, we got to get a deal at some point. We're doing great here. I'm going to use that. Like, hey, brother, you know, you know, I was at your, when your son was born. I was there, dog. Like, you know, look out for me. Look out, look out for me. I don't, I don't really see that being a, a legitimate thing. Like, that doesn't really make too much sense. Like I said, not saying Rory's dumb. I just don't feel like he, just from seeing him on pockets, I don't think he thinks about things in that manner. He just doesn't give me that vibe that that's how he thinks. Shit that bothers me. You could lie about everything else. I don't care. I've been shutting up. Don't double back and just make up lies about personal shit that's really about my character and how I, I treated you and your family. Mm -hmm. That's where I can't fuck with you on that. This Reddit that's shit is I'm crazy, like, dog. <laughs> Reddit is fucking y'all life up. No, 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 it's, not, no it's, not, it's not Reddit, it's not Reddit. I saw the clip though on Reddit. Like, oh, like, oh, yeah, like, oh, oh, I didn't watch the episode. I saw the clip that's of what him you're saying that I went to see his son be born for a negotiation tactic, which was a two-year fucking gap in between. Spotify didn't exist. I, I have, I'm not that intelligent. I didn't have the wherewithal to go, hmm, he's having a kid. Maybe in two years, <laughs> maybe we'll get a deal from a company that's not even working on podcasts yet. Oh and my God. then I'll bring that up in negotiations, which I did not ever, ever bring up in a negotiation with him. Hey, I went to your son's birth, so give me more money. So when you talk about that type of shit, that's what pisses me the fuck off. And I've been dead quiet because I've been very vocal that this shit has been very painful to me. Mm. So what? that's where everyone, all these fans, everyone can talk. I've shut up because I said this shit was painful. But have, have you ever been... You can see it in his, like, white eyes. And, like, it feels like, th for Rory, it's a very... It, it hits the spot for him. Maul? Maul don't give a damn. Maul's gonna go scorched earth on Joe Budden any chance he get. Joe Budden tried to diminish his character. Joe Budden tried to diminish his brand. He was a bum. He was a loser. He didn't have he didn't have his own club. Whatever he was saying whenever they were gonna do the breakup. He was going, like, scorched earth on Maul. So I can see why Maul, any chance he gets as we've seen recently with the complex list, will throw shots at Joe whenever he can. Rory, he'll, he'll hop in there sometimes and have fun with it, but he seems a little bit more passive on really getting into the Joe Budden type conversations. That made him sound like an evil ass person, like how, you were, how he made you sound with during that clip? Have you ever said something like, I don't know, whatever, like similar status or caliber to him using or saying that, or if it's true or not about his son being born and you using that two years later to negotiate money deals about Spotify? Have Maul and I said anything in that yeah, yeah. No. No. Maul, and I, Maul and I replied to his empty chair rant with the absolute truth, an objective truth, 
one that could be backed up by absolute facts with witnesses, everything. That shit could be a whole, Vlad could do a whole series oh, on shit. everything with the evidence I have of what we said on that video, which is why I shut the fuck up about it. Maul and I's story has not changed. Has there been comments made? Of course. Has there been little shots? Has Maul said a lot of stuff too, but Maul's also entitled to say every last fucking thing Maul is saying. But that's a reflection so, of both of y'all. Well, cool. people, people are no, behind the behind the scenes. Fine. So yeah. people just see things at surface level and they make their opinions about it. For and sure. you know, and they see usually the person who gets emotional is the person that loses. But let me ask you this though. Do you feel like it kind and, of but this, okay. but this also speak to speak to Maul's comments? Because what you're saying is yes, a lot of people say, yo, Maul's been making a lot of comments as well. You you next to him, right? Uh, I'm, I'm just saying from no, what I, I, see I agree. It. I agree yeah, yeah, and yeah. my and Maul is entitled and right about everything that he is saying. Yeah. Now, if you notice, I said the hurt rant will leave me alone. Joe had went off on me after Maul called him a cat burglar on that list shit. Why did he reply to me when I didn't say anything? And that was the thing. I was oh, so he's picking up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, 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 probably because you was closer to him. But no, hold on. No, that too, but I don't know that to be the truth because Maul has lived with Joe for years. They were, everyone has their own relationship. Personal relationship. And also, this sounds really, I know we're not allowed to use this word. This sounds mad gay. Who's relationship with? No, but that's a big part. But that's why, that's what pissed me off the most. When Maul made that comment, as Maul is allowed to make that comment, the comment is fine. I didn't say shit. Why did you only reply to me? You the Irish nigga with the with the uh, goldish man <laughs> beard. Okay, hold on, no, 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 like, Rory, he's on a press room, right? So he knows whenever he goes anywhere, they're going to bring up Joe Budden. It's good for him. It's good for his album. I'm going to lie to you. I'm going to listen to his album just because I want to see what type of shit he made. But when it comes to Joe Budden, Rory and Maul, it's been almost two years at this point. It's going to be a wrinkle in their storyline for, for years to come just because this podcast was one of not just like urban hip-hop podcasts. Like This was one of the best podcasts that I've ever heard. And I listen to a plethora of podcasts from politics to interviewers to, that's pretty much it. I don't listen to all the other shit. But like politics, interviewers, rap, this is one of the best podcasts I've ever listened to. It was in the golden age. It was when shit was really just starting to bubble up. Those three guys' chemistry was unmatched, right? The only one I can match it with, for me personally, is when it was Charlemagne, Wax, and Andrew Schultz. But we don't even know why Wax left the brilliant idiots. So we don't get that type of drama when it comes to them. But regardless... Rory's hurt. Joe Budden probably fucking lied. I ain't gonna lie to you. I keep saying he probably did lie. He's good at manipulating the audience. The audience loves him. He's the talent. It's the, same, it's the reason like why No Jumper's fried. The reason No Jumper is fried and the community world is doing what they're doing. They're getting 200,000 views on their live streams and all that type of shit. The thing that differs between Adam and Joe was Adam doesn't have the personality that Joe has. The people that left Adam's show had personality. And people went with the personality. Adam don't got the personality. So Rory and Maul, although this is like this is like the, the, the breakup podcast. Like obviously they broke up with no jumper, you broke up with Joe Budden, two very large entities. But like I said, with this exchange, Rory is on the, the short end of the stick because Joe Budden has the talent. But with the talent of Joe Budden comes with the manipulation of the audience, the manipulation of what's going on, because Joe's gonna use big words, he's gonna play mental gymnastics, he's gonna say things and then pull it back to get you, you know, to draw you in, and he won't give you no more. He'll sprinkle a crumb into your cage, you'll run out, and he'll take the whole fucking piece of bread, and you'll be left there with crumbs to think for yourself. I, I, I got to really hear how he described this situation, but in knowing that Joe Budden, listening to Joe Budden podcast for however many years that shit been out, I can only imagine how he framed this conversation to look and sound, and he probably did it in a masterful, manipulative way, like he always does. But... Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about this entire debacle. I had to convince myself that I'm going to make it, you know, regardless of how people felt at that time. And what it does is it makes you feel like, well, it made me feel like there's going to be points that people are going to mistake my confidence for arrogance. They don't understand the process I went through mm -hmm. and how much I had to believe in myself in order to make these things happen.